This is a recreation of Sonduck's tutorial. Link to his channel is in description. Let's just get straight into it. First add a fusion composition and go into fusion. Add an S ellipse and set the size down. Make sure you grab the outline that's facing diagonally to resize it uniformly. Then disable solid and increase border width. Also change the color to black. Then add an S outline node and a S boolean and connect the S ellipse into the green input of the S boolean. Change the operation to subtract and merge it over the S ellipse. The S boolean is there because it makes the outline only be on the outside of the S ellipse. This is important because when the outline and the S ellipse are over each other it will start bugging when we extrude it. Now we can add the extrude 3D node. Drag it into the viewer and enable preview lights for now. Then change the X rotation to 90 and set the extrusion depth to around 0.03. After that, add a Blin 3D and set the diffuse color to black. Then plug it into the bevel input, so we get a black bevel. Now let's make our 3D scene. Select the extrude node and add a camera 3D and render a 3D and connect him to the media out. After that drag the media out into the right viewer so we can see our final image. To prevent lags change the renderer type to hardware renderer and disable high quality and motion blur. Drag in the merge 3D in the left one to preview the entire 3D scene. Click on the camera 3D node and change the focal length to 25 for a wider view. I always do this because a wider lens looks more dynamic, but you can also make it more zoomed in if you don't like this effect. Then move the camera back until the shape becomes visible. Now add in a ribbon 3D and set the number of lines to 1 and the width to 10. Then change the start point position to X0 and Y1 and the end point to X0 and Y-1. Now keyframe the disk Y position, so it looks like it's levitating around the ribbon 3D. Let's make the building. Let's start with our S rectangle node. This will be our general building shape. Bring up the height and lower the width, so we get a tall building. Change the color to black. Get another S rectangle, those will be the windows. Keyframe width and link height to it, to get a square window. Then make it really small. Now add an S grid node to it and merge both over the original S rectangle, and adjust the grid numbers. Then delete the S merge and add S boolean instead. Change the mode to subtract and the style to keep so we get the black color of the original rectangle. Now we will make the outline like on the disk shape. Add an S outline and an S boolean and connect them like me. Then adjust the line thickness, change the boolean mode to subtract and merge them over again.